Here we have the strawberry conch, Strombus luhanus. This tireless little worker will forage across your sand bed from late evening all the way through until the following morning. Strawberry conchers make excellent scavengers. You can see this one here using his long snout to turn over each grain of sand individually. As well as eating detritus, they also scrape microalgae off the sand and will even eat cyanobacteria, one of the few creatures that will do so. Keeping strawberry conchers is quite straightforward. You need to make sure that there is enough sand for them to feed on, roughly three square feet or a third of a square meter per specimen. Most other inhabitants of the aquarium will leave strawberry conchers well alone. Large predatory fish may harass them though, and hermit crabs may on occasion kill them to steal their shells. During the day, the conch will hide either just under the surface of the sand or on the surface of the sand, often tucked near rockwork. You can keep several of them in together, and there are 15 strawberry conches in this large aquarium. There are also some buller conches in here, which remain buried underneath the sand all of the time and help turn over the deeper layers of the sand bed. Underneath, the conch has a large spike, which it uses with its muscular foot to pull itself along through the sand, and may even use it to flick itself along, jumping like a kangaroo. I've never been injured by a strawberry conch, but I would be careful placing your fingers directly underneath it. These fascinating little creatures make an ideal addition to the clean-up crew in your tank.